as the date approaches to mayhem and my title shot against Gino, I keep getting asked the same question. What would becoming a champion mean to me? And the only way I know how to explain that is give a little history. Okay, so so let's go back to 2011. Gino is already in a wrestling ring, already lacing up his boots, learning the ropes, doing everything he has to do to follow the dream. Where am I? I'm homeless on the streets of Kansas City, struggling to find a coat to get through the winter, struggling to find my, my next meal, fighting to survive to the next day, pushing, persevering, okay? Let's fast forward a couple of years, 2013. Gino, several years in by now, probably doing some, some more advanced things, getting some good matches under his belt. Where am I? I'm in Iowa doing things I shouldn't be doing. I'm fighting on the street because I get paid to do it. I'm hurting people because I get paid to do it. <laughs> and man, did I hurt a lot of people. Looking back now, I'm not proud of it, but at the time, I was doing everything I had to do to move forward and not backward to the streets that I came from. Again, persevering, pushing through obstacles, doing whatever I had to do. Okay, fast forward again, 2016. Gino's probably on the road full time by now. He's got all these titles. His name is well within the scene. Where am I? I'm laying on a hospital bed about to get wheeled back for a surgery that I couldn't control to get my cornea replaced because I've gone blind. I'm depressed, I'm 380 pounds, and I have zero quality of life. But again, I make the choice to persevere. So I got the surgery, lost over 100 pounds very quickly. I chose to again push forward through obstacles. That brings us to late 2020. COVID hit through everyone for a year. I decided it was time to follow the dream that I always wanted to become a wrestler. 2020. Fast forward to now, we're at the same level, do you know? I'm getting the TV time you've been getting. I'm on the shows you're on. I'm traveling just as much as you. And now, I'm here to take your title. See, and I get why that intimidates you, man, because Mr. 2009 is at the same level as Mr. 2020. So I get why you've had to hire Caleb because you couldn't handle me yourself. You tried to take my knee out when I'm already not 100%. You've done everything you can to put an obstacle in front of me. And that's all that you are is an obstacle that I'm going to knock down to get what I am meant for. See, I am meant to be a champion. Why? Because a champion perseveres. A champion doesn't give up. A champion is not a coward. A champion is not a guy who holds 12 belts because he chooses not to defend them. A champion is someone who builds the people around him, not tears them down because he's intimidated by their status. A champion is someone who is able to put asses in seats and sell their own merch and not put someone else on it because they can't make any money themselves. See, I've spent so much time trying to prove myself to people like you, Gino, and I'm, I'm done with that. See, this match is not to prove anything to you. It's to prove it to myself and to the homeless kid that's down the street struggling to find a meal, to, to the kid that's in the crowd that's told he's stupid and that dreams are never going to happen. See, I am that kid. I'm that homeless guy on the corner. I don't take the things that I have now for granted like you do. So come this weekend at Mayhem, you better count the blessings at home before you get there. Because your bag is going to be a lot lighter. And so are your shoulders. Because I'm ready to be the champion that you have never been. I'll see you at Mayhem. And remember, I told you so.